BMW, they are testing right now a solid state battery from an American battery company. Could this go into BMW's vehicles? Well, yes, it will almost certainly, but the question here is actually when? Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. It's great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching the Electric Viking guys. I'll actually be in Indonesia in Bali for an EV conference there. It's over two days and the second in command in the Indonesian government will be there at the show, possibly even the president as well. If you want to come, you can and you should to make it a, a great holiday. I'll put a link in the description to how you can be involved in that EV show. There's going to be some Chinese companies there, some Chinese big brands there as well. The US has taken a U-turn on zero emissions utility, um, emission mobility. Obviously, um, Donald Trump and, you know, whatever they're saying, EVs are not their focus priority. And I think the reason for that is because America has lost the EV race, the AV arms race, the battery race. There's no question that the United States have lost that. So they're saying, well, why bother? However, the United States might not have lost the solid state battery war. And if you think about it, more Americans might begin buying electric cars, or not, more, not might, they will, if they have more range. I mean, a lot of Americans love pickup trucks. Pickup trucks are the number one popular vehicle there. If you could build pickup trucks with, you know, 500 miles of range or more that were relatively affordable, well, yeah, I think that um, I think they might take over very, very quickly. So what's the solution to the affordability issue? Well, sulfide. Solid state EV batteries are relatively expensive, but sulfide based semi or sulfide based solid state batteries could reduce the price significantly. Now, managing the expansion and contraction of a solid material is the biggest challenge to solid state batteries. And that's what EV manufacturers have been working on for a long time. Solid power, they've got a lot of experience. They've been around for 14 years, they're based in Colorado. And they have used a lot of research from the University of Colorado in Boulder to get these batteries into BMW's cars. The solid state batteries made by Solid Power first were noticed by BMW in 2016, and then Solid Power, they went public in 2021. Both Ford and BMW signed on as investors, and the company also has a relationship with SK On, which is a South Korean battery manufacturer, one of the biggest, or the second biggest in South Korea. Solid Power has, well, they've decided to use sulfides, which are derivatives of sulfur, as the pivotal input for their solid electrolyte. In addition to pushing volatile liquids out of the picture, the sulfide material eliminates the polymer separator typical of lithium-ion batteries, which is an advantage and reduces complexity. Solid Power's sulfide-based solid electrolyte is the key ingredient that powers solid power's all solid state battery platform technology, the company says, this thin solid layer acts as a barrier to keep the anode and the cathode from touching one another, which causes bad things and shorts the battery. It also acts as a conductive electrolyte. We expect to scale electrolyte production to power 800,000 electrified vehicles using our all solid state battery cells annually by 2028, said Solid Power. So Solid Power are saying by 2028, they're gonna be making enough batteries to power 800,000 electric cars. I can't say whether or not that'll happen for sure. I don't think anyone can. I don't even know if Solid Power can say that. But hey, let's say they're two years late and they do it in 2030. That's still pretty good. And that's still gonna result in a lot of demand. 800,000 EVs per year by 2028 is, well, some people will say too optimistic and not realistic. But BMW is saying that these batteries are actually pretty good. The BMW group is bringing large format, pure ASSB, all solid state battery cells from solid power to its test vehicle, a BMW i7 being operated in the Munich area in Germany. BMW announced earlier this week citing the higher energy density of these solid state batteries as the biggest benefit. It'll mean that basically cars using these batteries can be significantly lighter than cars using traditional lithium ion or lithium ion phosphate batteries. With a higher energy density compared to current battery tech, ASSB batteries have the potential to achieve longer ranges in vehicles without the disadvantages in regard to the weight of the overall storage system. Now I should point out, I don't agree with BMW on the weight disadvantages. The truth is 
if you can make an NEV using gigacasting and structural batteries, then you can make it the same weight, even lighter in some cases than an internal combustion car. But I do agree that if you want a lot, a lot of range, huge amounts of range, then that's when the battery, the battery issue starts to become a challenge. There's a long way to go. BMW says the test period will take place over the coming months. They've described the i7 test vehicle as a concept battery that combines new innovative non-module concepts with a proven architecture of prismatic cells, which refers to the battery shape from batteries back in the 1990s. Now, I should point out BMW are making their own batteries in conjunction with a battery company, which are cylindrical batteries that are almost this, exactly the same size as Tesla's 4680 batteries. That's BMW's main monetary focus, those batteries, those cylindrical cells. But clearly BMW is hoping that these batteries also pay off as well. And I'm guessing they'd use them in their more expensive cars to begin with. So BMW are anticipating that the development will proceed. And this is not um, basically hype or vaporware, but it's real. BMW are actually planning to run a prototype line in Germany at their cell manufacturing competence center under a license from Solar Power. So BMW are actually building a, a production line under license from this American company. This is pretty cool. When will those EV batteries hit the road in the United States? Well, there's a few different brands hoping to get them on the road. Uh, Solar State batteries on the road, Samsung, their batteries have been tested in a few different electric cars. I've talked about different brands doing different things, but I don't think we really know for sure. I mean, clearly the company is saying 2028, they're going to have a lot, 800,000 production capacity, but I don't think anyone really knows if they're going to come out next year or the following year. Probably, de probably depends on how they go in these prototype situations. I should also mention that Solar Power have received a $50 million grant from the US Department of Energy, which is subject to negotiation. With this project, Solar Power intends to install the first globally known continuous manufacturing process of sulfide-based solid electrolyte materials for advanced all solid state batteries and expand its electrolyte production cap capabilities at its Thornton CO facility, said Solar Power. The CO said this, adding a continuous manufacturing process will enable us to produce the new electrolyte at a significantly lower cost compared to today's process. So who knows what this negotiation means, but it sounds like there's a good chance that solar power will get the funds it needs, even with the Trump administration in place. I think solar power are doing some really good stuff. I don't think BMW would be doing this if the batteries weren't legit. I mean, there's no way BMW is going to go and build a production line in Germany if they're crap, if these batteries aren't actually working currently. There's no way they're going to be driving around a BMW i7 with these batteries in them if they don't work either. Now, the key question is this, and this is the big issue that nobody knows the answer to. How long will the batteries last? The problem with solid state batteries is longevity. How many charges can you get? And that's why BMW are testing them in the car right now. How many battery cycles can we get in the real world? Can we improve our thermal management to get more cycles? That's the issue that we all need to know. We won't know that information, I'd say, for probably another 12 months. But let me know your thoughts, guys, in the comments. Bye-bye.